Hello all, this is a quick video demonstrating the camping version of the weather monitor for Astro. It lets you know when it goes clear, it lets you know when it goes cloudy. Pretty much standalone, all controls are on the bottom of the unit. Uh, we'll take a look at the unit now. Okay, it's about 9 inches long and it takes anywhere from 7 to 12 volt power input. It's got sensors on the front of it. Uh, there's a small thermal pile there which measures the cloud temperature and around it is a heat sink and it's a small heater about 0.2 watts keeps it warm so the dew doesn't collect on it. We've got a cadmium sulfide photo cell under here to detect the ambient light conditions and I'm going to cover that up to simulate its darkness right now. Okay and Oh yeah, I'm stepping on the cord, excuse me. <laughs> uh, here's the working end of it. We've got the alarm function, a small piazza. Uh, you can see it right here. That can be extended up 20 feet. Uh, you can put it inside your tent. You can put it next to your pillow. You can uh, let it alarm you when it happens there. Uh, you've got a dial that lets you dial in the cloud temperature to detect. And it'll go from anywhere from plus 25C to minus 35C. Roughly in the middle of the dial okay is minus 5c so the alarm just started going off because i'm pointing at something nice and warm out there that's way warmer than minus 5c um, so i'm going to point it up right now and you can see as it's going up to these gorgeously blue skies it goes off uh, there's a couple switches here one of them lets you put it into immediate feedback mode so this way you can dial in uh, what your sky conditions are locally so right now it's in immediate feedback mode with a switch in the up position. And so I'm going to take a... So that's the temperature over there uh, pointing at the foliage that's out in the back of the yard. Okay. So I'm going to tweak it down, put it on roughly minus 5. Okay. You can see the dial's up in the middle. And then point it up. And the sky is so clear up there now. I can, I can tweak it down lower and lower and lower temperatures and then it's going to slowly go off. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take it off of configure mode. Okay. So now it should alarm me uh, if it goes cloudy on me uh, or if it turns daylight on me. Well, it must think it's still daylight out there. Okay. So I'm going to put my finger over the photo cell. Uh, so, but now if it also goes cloudy, there's a rough five second delay. Okay, so now it went cloudy and I'm simulating cloudy by pointing at something warm, the foliage, and then point it back up again. Okay, now to simulate it going daylight on you and give you an alarm when it goes daylight, I'm going to take my finger off of the photo cell. Okay. Now the, the light is penetrating right through there, right through the electrical tape that's on there. Now there's another mode of operation. That's the uh, going light or going cloudy, and it'll give you alarm there. You can also invert that function and says, okay, well, I know it's cloudy, and I know it's light out, or I know it's cloudy, and now I want to know if it happens to clear up, and if it doesn't clear up before it turns daylight, don't bother notifying me. So we're going to take something and put the, this is the invert switch. So I'm going to put the invert switch up. And so uh, right now it's cloudy, simulated by pointing at the foliage. So I'm going to say, okay, is it going to go clear on me? Okay, now remember I had to put my finger over the photo cell because it thinks it's daylight out there, so it's not going to bother waking me up. But if I tell it it's dark and it goes clear, Once it thinks it's dark, let's see. That one. Okay, so it says, "Oh, okay, fellas, it's dark out." Uh, but now it just went clear on you. Oh, it's daylight, so I'm not going to bother waking you up. Okay, that's pretty much the whole thing in a in a nutshell. The thermal pile, the photo cell. The heater behind the thermopile, the power input, the uh, cloud temperature selector, the configuration mode to set the cloud temperature, uh, 
this knob is active all the time. When this, when the configure knob, when the configure switch is set, it'll give you immediate feedback. There's no delay. And you got the invert function. Uh, is it is it cloudy when I start and dark when I start? Did it ever go clear before it went light? Uh, and then you got the normal function. Okay, uh, it went light on me or it went cloudy on me. And that's pretty much all, folks. Thank you very much. In the background, you can see the uh, Green Box Observatory and the full Astro Monitor version that's sitting up there uh, on top of the pole. Um, that'll be a subject of another video. This uh, also can be controlled by computer. There's, as I mentioned originally, there's a Bluetooth module inside, and uh, that'll be a subject in another video how to do that. Uh, one more thing with this knob, it also has an off switch. So if you set it up for the computer and you plug power in with it turned off, uh, if you plug power in with it turned off, it will also uh, take the last computer settings. It ignores the switches as they're used there. So whatever the last thing the computer configured was. Uh, that's all, folks. Thank you very much.